some ways, but they were different in other ways from the Greeks. So there was this feeling that we are a European nation, and what united the Greeks, even though they spoke, they were divided into different city-states, and they were constantly at war with one another politically, there was a greater sense of unity based on language and culture that defined them as Greek people. So the, all of the Greek city-states got together to fight the Trojans. And that was a sense of pride in being Greek, in terms of speaking Greek, which they believed to be the best language. So they called the enemy the Asian barbarians, because they did not speak Greek. And in fact, the, 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 the Olympic Games, I mean, we have the Winter Olympics, the, the Winter Olympics are much newer. Uh, the Summer Olympics, because Greece is essentially, uh, I, I can take a seat. You can sit there with, with Greece, or you can you sit can here, whatever. Uh, she wanted you to sit with her. Um, so the, the Olympics were uh, games that were held to which only the Greek-speaking nations were invited. In other words, the Greek city-states. It was a game, they were games uh, when the city-states, if they were at war, the war would stop. They would all go and play games. Then they would come back and fight each other again. So it was a nice way to kind of give yourself a rest and then come back and continue with your business, right? So, so that's what they did. Um, but no barbarian was ever part of this, and of course no women were, to the point that one woman dressed up as a man, disguised herself, because she wanted to see what the Olympics were like, and that happened in 776 BC, that is the, the first time the Olympic Games were held. And when she was discovered to be a woman, she was thrown off the cliff, because it was for men only, because they participated in the union. Oh, yeah, it was a very, very male culture where everybody was running around without clothes. No, no, she didn't participate. Yeah, yeah, oh, the spectators weren't there. She just wanted to see what was going on. Please come on, come in. Okay, so that, okay, so that's a sort of sense of culture. Now, so what I'm saying is that the Greek, now, so the Tro Trojan War takes place around 1200. After that, there is a lull, a lull which has been called the Dark Ages. For about 400 years, we don't find literature, art, or architecture that has at least to this day been found. So we call it the Dark Ages of Greece. But then in 800, there's, so the Trojan War takes place about 1200. There's major destruction and the resources of the Greek city-states have been destroyed. Um, they do win the war, they burn Troy, but in terms of prosperity, there is a decline. And, but then in 800, we have Homer. Homer, who is, um, has been shown as a, as a blind poet, and he writes these two great epic poems the Iliad and the Odyssey, remembering the greatness of the great warriors of the Trojan War. So he comes, he's 400 years later, trying to look back to the great days of the Greeks, because he is emerging at a bad time, at a dark time. So he wants to recall the greatness. So the, the film Troy is about that Trojan War. And it's based on the Iliad, which is about the war. And then the second epic is the Odyssey, which is about the return journey of one of the warriors, Odysseus, which is why it's called the Odyssey. So the war lasted 10 years. And again, uh, if some important uh, warrior died, they would halt the war, they would stop fighting, they would go and have funerary games where they would play for 12 days, and then they would come back and fight again. So the games to the Greeks were very important. Okay, they were ceremonial. They honored uh, the dead person by games. And they honored their heroes with games, okay? Uh, so the Odyssey takes Odysseus 10 years to return home, and on the way he has several adventures. And then he returns home from Troy. It takes him 10 years 
students to come from Troy back to, to Corinth, teach from Corinth, which was here in Marshall. 